Hello, it's Jason Gorman here from my Fortress of Solitude. It's Monday night, we're one week into the lockdown in the UK and um, it's all still pretty new and pretty weird um, but we're going to have to get used to it because it's going to go on for some time I suspect. Um, some people hinting at least until June. That said, that obviously has implications for codemanship training. If we're all confined to base then that means there's going to be no on-site training for the foreseeable future, for the next two to three months at least. But that doesn't mean there's not going to be any codemanship training. Far from it. All of the courses that I run can be delivered and have been delivered successfully over the internet. They're still live. It's still me. You can still ask me questions. There's still two-day courses or three-day courses or one-day courses. The um, The only difference is, is the catering is up to you. And you don't have to leave the house. In fact, you can do it in your pyjamas if you want. I don't really care. Um, so it's the same training, live, instructor-led, as hands-on as always, um, except we're using screen sharing. You'll be pairing with other people. We'll be using breakout rooms and Zoom. And I'll be demonstrating using screen sharing as well. Um, so it all works just as well. We limit the numbers a little bit. So we'll go up to 20 people for an, in, an on-site course when I'm there in person for... Uh, for our online courses, we kind of limit it to 12, just to make sure that everyone's getting enough attention. Um, so that's the only real difference. So for groups of 4 to 12, codemanship training is still very much available wherever you happen to be in the world. I'm very happy and always happy, in fact, to work in different time zones. So if you're three hours ahead or three hours behind, that's not a problem. Um and um, like I said, it's it's business as usual in that respect. So if you're interested in Codecraft training for yourself or your team, then go take a look at the Codemanship.com website. And in particular, take a look at the TDD page. Um, and you will see that there are some scheduled courses coming up for test-driven development. There's one on May the 4th and 5th for C-sharp developers, one on June the 9th and 10th for JavaScript, and one in July on the 14th and 15th for Java. We are hatching plans for a Python one, and as soon as we have enough demand, um, that will go up as well. So go to comership.com, you'll find details of those courses and how to register. So that's it, really. I hope you're staying safe and doing well. These are strange times. Many of us are on a learning curve. I, for example, went to the supermarket yesterday and was very, very careful to make sure I got enough of everything to last at least a week. And then, lo and behold, I got back and I realised that I don't have any more bin liners left, any more, um, anywhere to put my rubbish. So I'm going to improvise, I think. I'm not going to go out again. Um, but we'll, it will, it'll be interesting to see what I come up with. And that's what a lot of us will be doing from now on. For the next few weeks or months, we'll be improvising. Um, so stick with it. You will get the hang of it. Stay safe and I will speak to you later in the week.